not fallen away vilely since this last action? Do I not bait? Do I not dwindle? Why, my skin hangs about me like an old lady's loose gown. I am withered like an old apple jar. Well, I'll repent. And that suddenly, while I am in some liking, I shall be out of heart shortly, and then I shall have no strength to repent. Oh. And I have not forgotten what the inside of a church is made of. I am a peppercorn, a brewer's horse. Oh. The inside of a church. <laughs> company, villainous company, have been the spoil of me. You are so fretful, Sir John, that you cannot live long. Oh, there is it. Come, sing me a body song, make me mad. I was as virtuously given as a gentleman need to be. Virtuous enough, small little, dice not, above seven times a week. Went to a body house once in a quarter of an hour. Paid money that I borrowed three or four times. Lived well and in good compass, and now I live out of all order, out of all compass. You are so fat, Sir John, that you must needs be out of all compass, out of all reasonable compass. <laughs> Do thou amend thy face, and Ooh. I'll amend my life. Ooh. Thou art our admiral, thou bearest the lantern and the poop, but tis in the nose of thee. Oh. Thou art the knight of the burning lamp. Why, Sir John, my face does you no harm. Oh. Nay, that's certain. I make as good use of it as many a man doth of a death's head, or a memento mori. I never see thy face, but I think upon hellfire, and dives that lived in purple. For here he is in his robes, burning, burning. If thou wert ever any way given to virtue, I would swear by thy face. My oath should be... By this fire, here's God's angel! <laughs> but thou art altogether given over, and wert indeed but for the light in thy face, the sun of utter darkness. Oh. When thou didst run up Gad's hill, oh. in the night to catch my horse, if I did not think thou hast been an ignis fatuus, or a ball of wildfire, oh. there's no purchase in money. Oh. oh, thou art a perpetual triumph, an everlasting bonfire light. <laughs> thou hast saved me a thousand marks in links and torches, walking with me in the night twixt tavern and tavern. Oh. But the sack thou hast drunk me would have bought me lights as good cheap as the dearest chandlers in Europe. Oh. I have maintained that salamander of yours with fire any time this two and thirty years. God reward me for it. Smut, I would my face were in your belly. God no. oh, of mercy, so that I should be sure to be heartburned. <laughs> How now, Dame Potlet the Hen? Have you inquired yet who picked my pocket? Why, Sir John? What do you think, Sir John? Do you think I keep thieves in my house? Why? I have searched, I have inquired, so has my husband. Man by man, boy by boy, servant by servant. The tithe of a hair was never lost in my house before. <laughs> you lie, hostess. Barov was shaved and lost many a hair. <laughs> and I'll be sworn my pocket was picked. <laughs> go to, you're a woman, go. Who, oh, oh, I? No, I defy thee. God's life, I was never called so in my own house before. <laughs> oh. Go to, I know you well enough. <laughs> no, Sir John. You do not know me, Sir John. I know you, Sir John. You owe me money, Sir John. Wow. You know the quarrels beguile me of it. I bought you a dozen of shirts to your back. Downless, filthy downless. Oh. I have given them away to bakers' wives, and they make bolters of them. Now, oh. as I am a true woman, Holland of eight shillings an hour. You owe money here besides, Sir John, for your diet and by drinking, and money lent you four and twenty pounds. He had his part of it, let him pay! Oh. Hey. Alas, he is poor. Oh. He hath nothing. Oh. How poor? Look on his face, what call you rich? <laughs> let them coin his nose, let them coin his cheeks. I'll not pay a denier. Oh. What 
Will you make a yonker of me? Shall I not take mine ease in mine inn, but I shall have my pocket picked? <laughs> I have lost a seal ring of my grandfather's worth forty marks. Oh, Jesu! I have heard the prince tell him I know not how oft. That ring was copper! Oh, the prince is a jack, oh, a sneaker. Oh. Splut, and he were here, I would cudgel him like a dog if he would say. Jack and said he would cudgel 
told you. Uh, <laughs> I did, I bought off. Indeed, Sir John, you said so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if he said my ring was copper. I say, tis copper. Oh. Oh. Thou knowest as thou art man, I dare. But as thou art prince, I fear thee as I fear the roaring of a lion's whelp. <laughs> and why not as the lion? Ah. The king himself is to be feared as the lion. Oh. Dost thou think I'll fear thee like I fear thy father? Oh. Splud, and I do, I pray God my girdle break. Oh. Oh. If it should, out would thy guts fall about thy oh. <laughs> There's no room for faith, truth, or honesty in this bosom of thine. It is all filled up with guts and midriff. <laughs> Charge an honest woman with picking thy <laughs> What? Thou horse and impudent, impulsed rascal. If there were anything in thy pocket but a tavern reckoning. Oh. Oh. Memorandums of bloody house. <laughs> in the state of innocency, Adam fell. Oh. And what should poor Jack Falstaff do in these days of villainy? Oh. Thou seest I have more flesh than another man, oh. and therefore more frailty. Oh. You confess, then, you picked my pocket? It appears so by the story. <laughs> Hostess, I forgive thee. Oh. Oh. Go, make ready breakfast, uh, love thy husband, look to thy servants, uh, cherish thy guests. Aye! Thou shalt find me tractable to any honest reason. <laughs> Thou seest I am pacified still. Uh, prithee, be gone. <laughs> now, Hal, for the news at court, lad. Uh, for the robbery, how is that answered? Oh, my sweet bee. I must still be good angel to thee. The money is paid back again. Aye. I do not like that. <laughs> Tis a double labor. <laughs> I am good friends with my father and may do anything. <laughs> Rob me the exchequer the first thing thou doest. Do it with unwashed hands. <laughs> do. do, my lord. Mm. Mm. I have procured thee, Jack, a charge. A foot. <laughs> <laughs> Would it have been a horse? <laughs> Where shall I find one that can steal well? Oh, oh for a fine thief. Of the age of two and twenty or less, oh, oh, oh. I am most heinously unprovided. <laughs> <laughs> well, God be thanked for these rebels. They offend none but the virtuous. I laud them. I praise them. Oh, oh. Bardo, oh, my lord, go bear this letter to Lord John of Lancaster, to my brother John, to my lord of Westmoreland. Go, Peto, to horse, to horse, for thou and I have thirty miles to ride yet ere dinner time. And Falstaff, meet me tomorrow afternoon in the temple hall at two o'clock. There shalt thou know thy charge, and there receive money and order for their furniture. Kind friends and companions, come join in my life, and lift up your voices in chorus with mine. Company. I'm
Oh, my God. 